What's good? What's happening? Tipping culture, you know what I'm saying? Shout out to Degenerosity. All right, my man climbing up the subscribers. Boy, my man at 1.36. He hit a milli like two months ago. You know what I'm saying? But let's get it, bro. Tipping. Y'all tip. Y'all better be tipping. Tipping. A generous act of courtesy you do when you're more Let's than see. satisfied with the service you were provided. And you give them a little extra money. Yeah, Usually yeah. you give these to your servers at restaurants, your barber, and strippers just as a way of telling them you're doing a good job. Yeah, Go get yeah. yourself a nice pair of undies. And this overall thing is practiced all around the world. It's not exactly a foreign concept for anybody. Tipping is a normal thing, but no place on earth lets it give out the tip more than the US of A. We go X Games mode with the tipping over here cause we be giving everybody tips. We tip our delivery drivers, taxis, bellhops, housekeeping, house movers, bartenders. If you're an in-person service, then most likely you accept tips. Even my homie's last job at the gas station where he just pumped people's gas, he got over a hundred dollars in tips in one day. That's crazy. I didn't even know people tip for that. We love to tip everybody except the homeless. That's but hasn't gone too far. Let me go off real quick. But This man said, we tip everybody but the homeless. <sighs> what a way to put it, huh? I ain't gonna lie, bro. I ain't tipping no homeless person. I'm giving them food. I'm giving them clothes. Stuff that I know where the money is going. That's just me. You know what I'm saying? You hungry? I got you. Get whatever you want, how many you want. I got you. Type it, bro. I know where the money's going. Come on. For that. We love to tip everybody except the homeless. But has it gone too far? Let me go off real quick. But I've been seeing tipping options where I've never seen them before. Like counter services. You know, cashiers. I've never heard of tipping cashiers, but those blue blocks on the iPad beg to differ. One time I went That's to a crazy. concert and I went to the merch booth. I got a hoodie. Bro handed me the hoodie. Then turned around his iPad for a tip. For now, a I know tip. these people don't get paid too well, but what in that interaction concurred a tip? Did he slip me a $100 bill in a hoodie that I didn't see? I don't think so. So, nah, I don't think I'm going to tip. But I'll use usually see these in local businesses most of the time so yeah. that's all fine and dandy but i've heard starbucks is also doing tips now i don't really go to starbucks because it's just not for me i like my coffee a certain way i like <laughs> oh yo oh my god i love this guy bro this guy's content have me weak wait i like my coffee how i like my men Long, black, and Vietnamese. And no offense to you Starbucks employees out there, but I'ma treat y'all like McDonald's and Burger King. Like, why would I tip the drive through cashier? That just sounds unnecessary. And as long as those restaurants are not asking for tips, then I'm never gonna tip. Don't get no ideas, please. However, I understand why these workers would want a tip, though. They work low-wage jobs, and sometimes they got families to take care of at home. So a tip or two would make their lives a little bit easier. But I'm selfish. I'm not trying to tip at Wendy. Hey, man, I ain't gonna lie, bro. Because a lot of people, you know what I'm saying, they feel how they feel about uh, tipping uh, when they go out and shit. What blows my mind is that waiters and waitresses, they get paid below minimum wage, bro, by a lot. You know what I'm saying? Like, huh? Why can't that shit be like minimum wage or raise it up a bit? You feel me? And make tips optional. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. Or get rid of tips. I, I don't know, bro. Like just something where like they can make money uh, being waiters and waitresses. You know what I'm saying? I don't know, bro. I don't know. Who would make their lives a little bit easier? But I'm selfish. I'm not trying to tip at Wendy's, bro. But I know that day will eventually come. I can smell it. This is the U.S. We'll somehow incorporate tipping into everything. So the employers can justify why they're paying their employees minimum wage. And whenever someone doesn't tip, they get mad at us instead of the business. I just want to say it's a nice house for $5. <laughs> That's giving them a non-living wage. That's why tipping is super pushed. Yeah, I mean, bro, come on. like I don't, I don't blame this man. Motherfuckers expect... For you to bring that order from a restaurant that's 20 minutes away and they're gonna tip you three dollars bitch you think gas is cheap out here bro the fuck and they be having these big ass nice ass houses with the foreigns in the driveway 
cut grass all nicely and shit. Fuck is you doing three dollars? Twenty minutes away. That's crazy. Dang, I ain't gonna lie. I hated that when I was dashing, bro. I fucking hated that. Just seeing two, three, four dollar tips, and it's like your knees bum fuck. Fuck out of here, bro. You know what I'm saying? Mad at us instead of the business that's giving them a non-living wage. That's why tipping is super pushed. So restaurants, for example, can pay their waiters low salaries to encourage them to aim for tips. So the waiters have to be as upstanding, top of their tippy toes, holly jolly of a worker as possible to try to yeah. get ends meet. So the customer can walk away feeling happy about their experience, the owner of the restaurant being happy because of the profit and good look of the business, while the waiters walk away with a $2 tip and food stamps for a salad. Or at least that's just my theory. My game theory. Now people that have never had a job might say, ain't that a good thing? It makes the waiters actually try to do their job well, bro. Ain't nobody want to work minimum wage, period, bro. Simple, bro. And like the fact that nine times out of ten, you're at a job that you probably don't even want to be at. All right, let's talk about that. You don't want to be there and you have to put up this front, this facade, this, this, this character that you're not. You know what I'm saying? Now, if you like the job, you feel me? You go in there every day all happy and shit like, yes, another good day. You feel me? We working, chilling, vibing, everything smooth. It's, it's going to be a good day. Do your thing, be yourself. But even the people who like their jobs, some of them feel like they have to put on this character for the people, for the, for the customers and shit, for the clients or whatever. You know what I'm saying? It's like... People off rip already, they be, they're not being themselves. They have to act extra. They have to act so fucking extra. You know what I'm saying? And it's like when you're getting paid less than minimum wage or minimum wage, to have to act like somebody you're not, that's annoying as fuck, bro. You know what I'm saying? Ah, I don't know, bro. I, I really will never understand how the fuck uh businesses who have waiters and waitresses get away with uh paying these people less th less the minimum wage bro and it's not by a little it's by a lot you know what i'm saying it's like half of minimum wage like is it pff, i don't know bro bro in this economy doesn't matter if i'm getting tips all it takes is one bad day of penny pinching tips to be like well scoob I guess we have to eat whatever's in the fridge tonight. I should know. I used to be a waiter. I was a waiter for weddings and other events in my late senior year. And my wage was decent, 15 an hour. And for a high school student, that's pretty good. Plus 15 an hour and you're waiting, bro. That's amazing. That's dead ass. What? If that's not minimum wage, it's still higher than half of what the fuck minimum wage is. You know what I'm saying? I, bro, I think out here in mass... Waiters and waitresses get paid like the most I've heard was like seven dollars. Minimum wage is up fifth, like fifteen now. I think it's at fifteen now. The lowest I've heard was like three twenty five, five uh five twenty, some bullshit like that. Like, huh? So I only worked on the weekends, man. This job was gonna be a breeze. But that was only because I was a kid. I ain't need that much in the first place. All I thought is if I can afford food. So, but to spoil the fun, most of the time I did not get any tips or very little tips. And 95% of my gigs was at weddings, so the food was already Aww. paid for. I was giving these niggas free food and I got nothing. And I was always all nice and shit. I was never mean. I was all like, hello, hot diggity day. What would you lovely people like to have? I thought I was doing a good job. I even shaved off my hair to be more presentable, which is something I still regret too. See, see, they got to act a, a, a way they're not, and then they got to do things that they don't want to do, bro. Get a haircut? Huh? See this right here? Never. Never. These bitches are staying long and braided till I die. What the fuck is you talking about, bro? Huh? I don't know. Maybe I'll change my mind one day because you beat me. I don't know, but this day don't cut the hair you love for no jobs Jeez. unless it look like this you, you might get no job with <laughs> you might not get a call with this fucking boy they won't they won't continue the interview if you step foot into an establishment trying to get a job
looking like this boy with that i did Howdy. get tips sometimes the biggest tip i've ever gotten was 40 dollars from a table of old white women and a gay dude and from then on they became my target audience i'd always pick the table with the gay niggas because i know they'd give me the biggest tip and me complaining about small tips pause on that boy I'm, that's crazy he did not pause that that's insane this might sound like a trivial problem but i'm talking about like in the grand scheme of things of this kind of job like if i was an adult he with this job it. paying bills taxes rent all that i i could not live like this i noticed because i had co-workers in their late 20s 30s 40s who said they couldn't take care of themselves with this wage that's why they sold drugs on the side. That's why we should hold these businesses accountable to have hot. We're gonna mute that, but yeah, bro. It's crazy because like people with full time job full time jobs doing 40, 50, 16 hours a week. They still have to find a some of them have two, three jobs, bro. They have the main one, the full time one, plus two other ones. That's insane, bro. Nobody out here should be working fucking i ain't gonna lie more than two jobs because somebody can work all week and have the weekends off but then they'll be like fuck it let me work on the weekend somewhere else you know what i'm saying no more than two jobs no more than two jobs bro and they should be able to have money on the side to enjoy themselves spend it how they want not just fucking bills bro most people they work for the bills you know what i'm saying crazy higher wages for their employees so they don't have to rely on tips anymore we must rise against this corrupt business practice who's with me yeah hey, hey you're just saying this because you just don't want to pay tips no more bro it's not even that bro like paying a tip or not that's not even the thing it's the fact that these people are getting paid shit they're getting paid shit fuck the tip all right, fuck that. We're not on that. We're on the fact that get, people are getting paid shit. All right? Fuck. Hey, hey, you're just saying this because you just don't want to pay tips no more. <laughs> well, duh. I don't like tipping. <laughs> Who does? Who wants to pay more of their own money when they don't have to? I'm not a misogynist, a masochist. Wrong word. Damn. Uh, oh, my. Oh, my. Oh, oh my God money when they don't have to i'm not a misogynist the masochist wrong word oh my oh you stupid shit bro why are you doing it like that hold on how did <laughs> how did it hit him you dumbass it's the other way around oh my god he's lucky he... the tip of that shit did not hit his forehead bro <laughs> Wrong word. Uh, I am the other one. I'm not saying I don't tip. I do, but ma what's that car number? Mainly because I want to at least try to balance out my good deeds with my bad ones when I'm in the pearly gates. I'm not trying to go to hell because I didn't tip my IHOP waitress who so happened to be battling cancer and diabetes that one time. I'm trying to get to heaven. But if I gave zero darns, dangs, or fucks, I would almost never tip. I would look at the bill, then pay the bill, then end it there. I would only tip if I received outstanding service because, you know, most services nowadays are just average, you know, regular yeah. stuff. Nothing to point out, but you still supposed to tip. In a perfect world, I would only tip if the person is enthusiastically nice fast service give me a back massage and also pay for my food then i'll tip. <laughs> pay for my food i'll tip you if you pay for my food yo you can understand tipping <laughs> delivery drivers because they also need the money to pay for their gas but that can go with the higher yeah. wage yeah bro like bro. oh god yo guys man listen i'm i'm in debt with gas okay i'm in debt with gas all right Come on, bro. This shit not cheap, cuz. And it don't help. I got a V6. Fuck. The argument that I said earlier. And if they show up mad late, then I don't have to tip them. We should bring back the 30 minutes or less or the food is free rule. I'd start ordering food from Russia on purpose. Save myself a stack. And like I said earlier, I know these people need these tips to survive. I know they have mouths to feed. I know. I feel you. I feel you.
but in the back of my if mind, I know I have mouths to feed too. Yep. My own mouth. <laughs> and Tippin is slowly taking that away from me. Now I'm gonna starve. And remember earlier when I said Tippin is not a foreign concept? Well, apparently it is to most countries. Every time I look in a comment section for a post regarding Tippin, 90% of the comments will be from foreigners saying, well, over here in Timbuktu, Jumanji land, we never even heard of tipping. I did. That's crazy. I know in DR you can tip or people tip. I'm sure in PR people tip. I'll, yeah, I'll figure that out when I go. You know what I'm saying? Mass, obviously, the states and shit, they tip. Where else? That's crazy to think that there's no tips out there in the world. You know what I'm saying? Shit. I didn't even know Jumanji was a real place, but it sounds like heaven if they don't tip. And it makes me think the people of the U.S. here are purposely fucking me with this tipping shit. It's to be expected we tip 20 to 25% of the bill here. You, you have a better chance pulling a gun on me and robbing me because that's the only way you're going to get that much money out of me. And I've been seeing news reports about how there's a spread of... That's Wait. Self checkout machines with tipping options. Bro, you know what's crazy? You know what's even crazier than just having the option to tip? Some restaurants, you have to tip. They charge the tip when they give you the receipt, the bill. They already take the tip away. They add it to the grand fucking total, bro. How are you telling me I'm forced to pay that tip? What if the server was shit? Terrible service. You're telling me I still got a tip? Bro, I don't know if y'all ever seen that, but dead ass. I've probably been to two, three restaurants. They come back with the bill. You're thinking, all right, you know what I'm saying? We're just, we're going to get the bill for what we got. Calm. Regular shit. Supposed to be like that, obviously. You read that shit. That shit says an extra 20 dollars of tip it literally says tip they have the price set and i it's, it's by percentage like he said 20 to 25 or whatever whatever the restaurants want to set that at bro it's on the receipt like what hello who the hell am i tipping <laughs> mr mr <laughs> And seeing news reports about how there's a spread of self checkout machines with tipping options who the hell am I tipping? Mr. and Mrs. Walmart themselves? What Why they is? need my money? Why okay. they need a tip? Any self checkout tipping machine out there, cut the tip of my pee. That's what you could do. <laughs> and like I you said did. earlier, I do tip my delivery drivers and waiters. I do. But I hate tipping. My bloody hands it. If I could abolish it, I would. I hate it. However. <laughs> <laughs> I know it's the right thing to do. Or at least I was raised to believe if I don't tip my waiters, I'm a dick, Which I don't really believe now. I begrudgingly admit, tipping won't kill me. So I still tip. How much I tip? None of your beeswax. And Simple. even though I tip... None of your fucking beeswax. Mind your neck. Most of the time. I'm not gonna tell y'all you should tip. You could do whatever you want with the money you've earned. Like, I could be spending my money on helping the children in Africa and building houses there. But how else am I supposed to pay for my drip? I need money for my- Yo. <laughs> the fuck is this man wearing, bro? My clothes, man. Those kids in Africa, they're not gonna pay for me. But yeah, those are my <laughs> thoughts on tipping. Employees need better pay, so they I can do. stop paying. And in conclusion, elements of surprise. Did you pray today? Ah, shit, bro. That mandatory tip up on in, in some restaurants is bonkers, bro. I ain't gonna lie. Um, hey man, I ain't gonna lie. If you going out to eat, the least you can do is tip. You know what I'm saying, if if the service was cool, calm, or great, you know what I'm saying, just give it a little something. You know what I'm saying. But I do agree they should get rid of that and pay the people more motherfucking money, bro. You know what I'm saying? Three, five dollars, seven dollars being a server is is crazy. That shit's crazy, bro. What? As a non-American, I was really surprised when I came to America when I realized how weird tipping was there. I feel like tipping should be an optional thing rather than oblig obligatory. 
Obli obligatory. Bro, I don't even know how to say that that fucking word. Um. Yeah, optional. I don't know. I feel like people, like the conversation of do, uh, giving tips and shit, and then also people and how they feel, kind of influences people to feel obligated to tip. Because if they don't, obviously they're gonna hear people say, "Oh, what the fuck, you're not tipping." They're gonna hear that, right? So it's like, I don't know. Maybe they feel like it needs to be uh obligated. But it's optional for the most part, except those restaurants that I've been to. <laughs> this man is physically unable to speak anything but facts. The Jen is the type of fellow to say, well, 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 look who it is when he sees a family member in <laughs> the supermarket. <laughs> oh, fuck, it's actual, actually considered rude to tip people. There are people who are rich who say it's mean or uncultured to tip. The most horrific thing I've ever learned. What? No neighbor guy who worked at Chick-fil-A during college. He said he doesn't accept tips because his family owns like 10 Chick-fil-A's and he doesn't need it. That's insane. <laughs> My family can earn 30 Chick-fil-A's. I'm still taking the tip. The fuck is you talking about? What? <laughs> I'm just being real. The reason it's rude to tip in places like Japan is because it's viewed as people thinking a business doesn't pay to. Mm. Now see, look, look at that. It's viewed as people thinking a business doesn't pay its employees. Yeah. Why don't people think, it like, think of it like that out here in the U.S.? You know what I'm saying? Pay these fucking servers more money, bro. Simple as that. You know what I'm saying? Wait, I said sorry. I usually get tipped often due to the fact that I have one thing. Kindness. Treat others how you want them to treat you and good things come your way. 100%. W. You know what I'm saying? W. Let me know what you guys think, man. That's my reaction. If you enjoyed this video, like, subscribe if you haven't. And I'm out.